Your former masters praise your combat skills. They say you're becoming an expert duelist. I've never fought anyone I couldn't beat, including my masters. Impressive claim. More importantly, you'll know yourself. I didn't come here to meditate and learn boring lessons. I'm sending every able-bodied Jedi down to the Padawan training grounds right away. Especially you. You planning to stay up here and watch? I need you at that tunnel, making sure the Flesh Raiders don't get any more reinforcements through it. Yeah, apparently I'm the only competent warrior on the whole planet. Arrogance is unbecoming of a Jedi, as are petty insults. Stop struggling, Padawan. Your life was over the moment you set foot here. Because the Order must evolve, and you are weak. Whatever your problem is, Ugly, I'm here to end it. I'll do some cleansing of my own. You held off all these attackers by yourself with only a practice saber. Impressive. The Force was with me as usual. Don't confuse confidence with arrogance, Padawan. You seem all right to travel alone. Report to the Jedi Council. Going to a boring meeting is the last thing on my mind right now. Sounds familiar, but you're still going. Padawan, I'm Satil Shan, leader of the Jedi Council. I'd like to speak privately with you before we meet with the others. Let me guess. My reputation precedes me. Your reputation is not my concern. It must have been a disturbing confrontation. Are you all right? I won the fight. What else matters? But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Perhaps it's finally revealed itself. Your growing darkness just tried to kill me. See? It's not just me who's worried. The Flesh Raiders were disorganized primitives before today. Without the man organizing them, they're just mindless savages. I'll handle it with the help of my new Padawan. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. If I'm so special, shouldn't the leader of the Jedi train me? My duties to the Order come first. And don't underestimate Master Orgus. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Republic asked us to deny those Twi'leks aid. They settled here illegally. But frankly, we need them. The Republic shouldn't be telling the Jedi what to do. We got how impressionable Padawans can be. Remember, Jedi exist to serve the Republic, even when we disagree. Greetings, Matriarch. So the Jedi finally deign to recognize my people's suffering. How noble. I'm not here to be lectured by you. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people, we... We suffer, Mother. You need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. Let's hope you're more agreeable. The scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. I guess I'm willing to check it out. If you brought that technology here, we could defend ourselves with those weapons. You wouldn't know what to do with weapons like those. I wish I could see the Flesh Raiders' faces when this stuff blows up on them. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. You can come with me, but I'm not removing anything. Don't lecture me, Jedi. My wife is dead. Our people slaughtered. Where were you then? I have no obligation to explain myself to you. If you're dumb enough to pick fights with Jedi, maybe you don't deserve to survive. You risked your life to help us. My people haven't had a champion for some time. I did as you asked for information, nothing more. Do whatever it takes to push the Flesh Raiders out of Kaleth. I'll send you reinforcements as soon as possible. In case you haven't noticed, I handle things just fine by myself. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Step a little closer, you hideous freak. <laughs> You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? Fighting the same enemy twice gets boring. I'm pretty sure that's not in the Jedi Code. 
They're learning how to fight us. If this is the best they can do, they're no threat. Place them around the ruins. The temple can then monitor any future incursions by our enemies. I have better things to do than wander around these ruins. I'm on my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. I've been surviving the ruins of Kaleth. Thanks for asking. The hooded figure in that recording is named Bengal Moore. He was my Padawan, but he never completed his training. Bengal was in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant when the Sith destroyed it. His face isn't visible in the Hollow. Maybe your mind's playing tricks on you. I know my Padawan's voice when I hear it. Those matriarch. My mother is dying. Death is a reality that must be accepted. I suppose Jedi don't let themselves feel sadness. Hmm. You must be the Padawan who slaughters my people. Your misguided attacks change nothing. Your time is over. So that's your face. I can see why you wear a hood, Bengal. You executed my apprentice, Caliph. I can feel his death on you. I spent years training him. He was a good man, a principled man. Proud of yourself? Without a doubt. You are truly corrupt. I'm gonna wipe out the Sith. Just watch me. My mother, she found peace during your absence. I am now matriarch. As long as you cooperate, I have no problem with your new position. How are you so cold? Your settlement here is finished. You can't stay on Typhon. We have nowhere else to go. Finally put the Flesh Raider base out of commission. How are things on your end? Please, tell me I'm getting out of this blasted Twi'lek settlement. Be careful what you wish for. One camp is in the ruins of Upper Kaleth. That patrol you fought earlier was based there. Now's your chance to finish them off. You're asking a lot. When I become a knight, I want a special lightsaber or something. When this is over, we'll talk about your unhealthy need for recognition. Then I'll meet their hatred with my own and kill every last one. Just got a distress call from the Twi'lek settlement. They spotted Ben Moore. Master Orgus responded to your distress call. I was to meet him here. What's happened? Nothing. We didn't send any distress call. I wish you hadn't come. Would have made things easier. We didn't want to hurt you or your master, but we have no choice. What did you inject me with? Something to stop you from escaping and numb the pain. I don't want you to suffer. Bengal Moore came to me, said he'd end the Flesh Raider attacks if we gave him your master. He wants us to kill you too. I'm... I'm sorry. Your words are wasted. Let's finish this. I surrender. Please don't hurt me. I know it doesn't matter to you. But I did all this to save my people. Your ignorance astounds me. My people were dying. What choice did I have? I don't believe in forgiving scum like you. There's nothing I can do to stop you, is there? You don't deserve to live. <sighs> Flesh Raiders stormed in and slaughtered everyone. I barely drove them off. <clears throat> Transmit everything you know about the Forge to my droid T7. That area is considered highly dangerous. May I inquire why you need this data? You want a memory wipe? Just do it. Well, really? I'll report your behavior to the council when they return. I sensed you coming. Your fear betrayed you. You're weak. Like my old master, you will fall with him. Spare me the speeches. I'm here to end you. So be it. One. Why has the Force guided me to this defeat? You are stronger than any Jedi I've known. You could redeem the Order and destroy the Sith. I understand. You are the weapon I came to forge. 
I hope you appreciate the irony of me killing you. You don't have to strike me down. I am your servant, now. I have spent a lifetime learning the paths to power. That knowledge is now yours. Let me leave Tython and prepare the galaxy for your ascendance. I will deliver the gifts you need to reclaim your destiny. Give me the things I'll need to defeat my enemies, and you can live. My first gift lies inside the forge, where Force users created their lightsabers millennia ago. I have learned their forgotten ways, discovered how to create a truly powerful weapon. I will show you. What the Council doesn't know won't hurt it. Padawan, I must have you to thank for being alive. I fought Bengal Moore, and he fell into the ravine. He's dead. Force willing, we'll recover the poor man's body and give him a proper funeral. All that's left is for you to enter the forge and construct your own lightsaber. Haven't I done enough work for one day? have the power to strike down all my enemies. Flesh Raiders are still a threat, but without Bengal's leadership, they'll be scattered and ill-equipped. This tempo could have been devastated. The entire order is in your debt, Padawan. I crafted my own lightsaber. I'm a Jedi Knight now. The rank of Knight is only conferred by the Council, and we have a more pressing topic to discuss. Recent developments in the Twi'lek settlement demand a response. Their matriarch, Rana, betrayed me, and now we hear the Flesh Raiders killed her. The settlement is in chaos. You know the Twi'leks, Padawan. How do you recommend we proceed? They're a danger we can't afford, and they don't belong here. I say we round them up and ship them anyplace else. Forced resettlement of the Twi'leks runs against everything we stand for. Containment is a better option. At least we know they can't be trusted. We won't put them in a position to betray us again. Although Bengal Moore's body hasn't been found, the fact remains, this young Jedi saved us from his army. I see no reason why he should remain a Padawan. Your final trial has been marred by dark events. But I can't argue with your accomplishments. You arrived on Tython a Padawan, but you leave a Knight of the Republic. May the Force be with you. Well, it's about time. No more Padawan do this and Padawan go there. That's right. Now the real work begins. We're getting a priority signal from Coruscant. It's Master Kiwix. Master Orgus, everyone. I've discovered a situation requiring further assistance. Our suspicions about Coruscant were correct. The Dark Presence we have long sensed is strongest here. I've already defeated one Dark Presence today. Might as well go for two. This darkness blinded us to threats much closer to home. I advise great caution. Something malignant works in the shadows of the capital. We must find it. 
This situation calls for our very best. Master Orgus, you and your former pupil should join Master Quix on Coruscant. Come to the Senate Tower as soon as you can. Master Quix, out. No rest for us, my friend. Complete any unfinished business you have and take a shuttle to Coruscant. All I get is a pat on the back and a new mission. I just saved this temple. We'll build a Bronzium statue of you. Promise. Farewell. The Force will be with you. Always. <laughs>